Hey there, before I begin, this December 1st is World AIDS Day, and the theme this year is putting ourselves to the test, achieving equity, and ending HIV. Also on this day, my friend Andy Feds is releasing a new book called Achieving a Dream, and I look forward to that, and I'm definitely going to read it. So stick around to the end of this video, I have a little bonus content about HIV and COVID. So now, here we go. When a person is drug resistant to any HIV, one or more of the antiretroviral drug, it no longer can keep you at that undetectable state. Drug resistance is caused by uh, changes to the virus during replication, which is called mutations. HIV-1 drug resistance is unmanageable for people though. To reduce the risk of becoming resistant to the medication, take your meds every day as prescribed. Never miss. HIV is a very smart virus, very good at infecting cells and reproducing. ART has to be just as smart, if not smarter. If a person with HIV is not treated properly, the viral load would become higher and then your CD4 count would start to lower, having risk of infection and even transmit to another. Now this is rare. Someone who is taking PrEP to prevent HIV um, could possibly get infected anyway, and if they do, they have a higher chance of resisting the two medications in the PrEP. Another way is a mother-to-be who is put on the medication to prevent her unborn child getting HIV there is a small, slight, rare chance the baby could get HIV and then the baby could be resistant to uh, all or some of the meds. But the risk is well worth the rewards though because it's such a low chance, I think it's less than 1% the baby could be born with HIV while on this treatment. So how does the person know if they're resistant to the HIV drugs? Usually blood tests will show the results and uh, when you first diagnose with HIV, they run all that through so they have like a baseline, know where they're at then and then later on they'll take more blood work periodically and then seeing, making sure that the medications are working properly. So HIV drug resistance naturally probably would limit your what medications you're going to be taking to keep your viral load down or undetectable which I'm sure you've heard of this before. Undetectable equals untransmittable. Treatment and prevention go hand in hand. HIV drug resistance is important to everyone whether you're HIV positive or not. And again if ART meds stop working, you could possibly transmit the virus to another and also could get AIDS. So here's a little knowledge nugget. People at work are starting to point the finger at me saying, hey, how come you haven't got COVID? I mean, almost everyone there has, and several times, some of them. Um, I've gotten three of my vaccines for COVID. I'm planning on getting the fourth. I've always been an advocate for this, no matter what. But there's some interesting studies going on I, I found. There's a possibility that the HIV medication you take can ward off COVID-19 and even influenza. And at the very least, stop you from having severe symptoms if you do get it. Um, so it's an antiretroviral therapy, so it's a, it kind of pushes away. So it's not concrete. Um, they're still working on the studies and it's quite interesting. I thought I'd like to share that with you all. Thank you for joining me as always. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Tap that notification bell to be notified. For now, Michael K. here. Take care, everyone.